my favorite part about working in this storyboard software is the fact that I can do these real-time animatics as I'm working. I want to show you a few things here that are very, very cool. Now, as I was saying, every time you start up a new scene or a new panel, it defaults to whatever size you had dictated earlier under Edit, Preferences, General. Right now I have it set for two seconds every time I open up a new one. So if I go here, open up new scene, the default is two seconds long. If I want it longer, if I select the right hand side of any panel, the numbers in the parentheses are how many frames long that shot is. So that shows 107 frames. I don't want that long. So let's keep it under a second. So around 21 frames. That looks good. There's another way of adjusting. Here under the panel tab, you have to see the panel number. Here's the duration. 21 panels. Or 21 frames long. I can take that to... Oh, I can just make that 24 frames exactly a second. So I can adjust the timing here as well. Now in this, I'm going to want to show that this character is walking out of frame. So rather than doing a number of different drawings with him in different positions, let's add a little motion. It's very easy. Here we have the background, we have one of the foreground elements, and we've got the character. Select the character layer. Over here I've got my first panel transform, last panel, or first frame transform, last frame transform. So I'm going to go first frame, and I'm going to select, I want the character about right there. Last frame transform, I'm going to move him out of frame. And as quickly as I do that, if I scrub, you will now see him moving and walking across the frame. If I hit play, it's real time. Alright, that looks pretty good. That's how quickly I can animate any layer. And I can animate every layer in any way that I want. I can add rotation to it. It's very cool. I can also do a camera move. Let's say we're on this shot. I can go over here to my camera icon. Make sure I'm on my tool properties. And I, if I adjust this, it's not a move. I'm just adjusting my framing. So I don't need to redraw or, or change anything. I can just move around. If I don't like what I was doing, I can go to storyboard. Reset camera. It goes back to the default. That's great. But if I want to do a move, I've got three icons over here. Keyframe on the first frame, keyframe on the last frame, or in the middle, keyframe at current frame. Let me show you the difference. If I do a keyframe on the first one, you'll see it puts a little blue keyframe mark on the front, keyframe mark on the back. That takes up the entire shot. But if I want a keyframe in the middle, wherever I currently am on the timeline, and I do the current, current frame keyframe icon, it adds a keyframe there. I'm going to get rid of that middle one. So now I've got a camera move over the entire thing. Green means start. Red means end. I can move it so right now I have a pan. That easy. But if I want to zoom in on the character, I can change my scaling. So now I'm pushing in on him. Let's say I want to do a slow in and a slow out. Well, that's where my ease in and ease out here. Are. So that moves in and out of the move. So now when I go to the beginning and I hit play. Ah, it looks really nice. That's great. Let's say I don't want to go straight in on him. Well, I can grab my camera path and I can make it a curve. Super easy to do this. Now, here I've got a lot of... Here's one scene, <laughs> one shot. With a lot of different panels. Well, I can do the same thing here. I can add a current keyframe here and a keyframe there. And I can move this wherever I want. But now my camera move goes over multiple panels. Look how cool that is. As long as they're all in one scene or one shot, which you can tell here because of the gray line above, that's an entire shot. When the gray line breaks, that's a new shot, so it goes from here to there. Oh, now we're on to another new one here. So you can have camera moves go over an entire scene, multiple panels. I love being able to do that. Let's say I want to also add in audio. Well, I can either import audio, as long as I select my timeline. 
Got the little note over here with an arrow pointing to it that's import. I will find, let's see, which, what do I want to have? Ooh, Luke saying butt face. That's pretty funny. I will import that. Now I'm going to move this. What, what we have done here is I had this character say that line many times. Now, let's say I want to use that one. But I don't, I don't need this whole audio piece here. I can go and select it, go to sound, split sequence at current frame. Great, so I can delete this first part. Just select it, hit delete. And I don't need everything after it either, so I'll just select right there. Sound, split sequence, delete the last part of it. Let me zoom in on that. I can tighten up and I can edit. I still have the entire audio sequence in there, but I can crop in as much as I want. Move it around wherever I want. So now... And if I edit, let's say I make this shot earlier, even longer, notice the audio stays synced to the first frame that it's attached to. So it's just like editing in any other nonlinear editing system. Now let's say between this shot, this character walking out and pushing in on him, I want a transition. Well, there's two transitions in here. Select the panel in front of the transition. This is your transition icon here. And it will add one in automatically. Now a left camera left to camera right wipe is the default, but if you double click on it, it becomes a cross dissolve. If I hit play, you'll also see it real time. If I think that's too long, I can grab the right hand side and I can adjust how long it is. So now that'll be faster. That's how nice that looks. There's another way to adjust the timing of a transition. You click on the transition and under your panel icon, I can change it to wipe or change it to dissolve. And I can adjust how long it is simply by just seeing how many frames a transition takes. Obviously, as I'm working, I can scrub through, but anytime I can just, for the director or anyone in the production, take go from any position and just hit play and watch it go. There is absolutely no better way to see instantly the quality of what you're producing and how your boards are working, both for you and for everyone else, to be able to make changes. And if I went back in and I changed any element here, the animatic is instantly updated. Gotta love it.